Besieged by legal problems and facing blame for Republicans' disappointing midterm performance, Donald Trump finally made official what he's been signaling for months. He is running for the post of president once again. But what's different this time around, though, is that Trump is entering this race at arguably his most vulnerable time, or at least his most vulnerable period since the 6th of January Capitol riots. He is currently facing a series of criminal investigations. There's the ongoing investigation into his efforts to overturn the election. That's happening both in the Justice Department in Washington as well as in Georgia. And also an even more pressing case into the dozens of classified documents that were recovered from his Mar-a-Lago estate in Florida in the ongoing investigation into that case. So he's facing this backdrop of all these criminal investigations as he makes his bid for term two. But if Trump makes it to the general election, the question then becomes, can he win? With Biden and Trump's approval ratings, both currently around 40% in the U.S., that certainly isn't out of the question just yet. And despite Democrats' better-than-expected performance in the midterms and against Trump-friendly candidates in swing states, they did likely lose the House popular vote to the Republican Party. More to the point, the general election is still two years away. Much can happen before then, and Trump will have ample time to attack Joe Biden, as he did extensively in his speech just last night, mocking some of the U.S. president's verbal misstatements and arguing that he is leading the U.S. to the brink of nuclear war. But political analysts we spoke to believe there's every reason to expect a second Trump term, and it would be far more tumultuous than the first is what they're claiming. It could also lead the U.S. and their democracy to some totally unprecedented places, is what geopolitical analysts, as well as political analysts we spoke to, are telling us. So it's fair to say the stakes are high, and the battle for America's future has begun.